Today I'm going to show you how to create a pattern and define it in Photoshop so that you can come up with a unique looking graphic just like you see on screen here. So let's get started. All right, so I've got a 1080 by 1080 pixel document I'm working with here in Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and go to my ellipse tool. And with that selected, I'm going to left click on my screen here to open up my width and height options. Let's change the width to 250 pixels and the height to 750 pixels. Just hit OK. Once we've done that, um, I've got basically a um, just a black ellipse on there. Uh, doesn't really matter. So as far as color, let's just shift it over a little bit, though, with the... Um, you know top right corner transform it over to um i'm gonna change mine if you look up top i'm gonna set my rotation to minus 30 so that's exactly the setting i'm using and i'm gonna go ahead and just place it here for now i'm gonna just drag down a copy to um, duplicate that layer and with that layer duplicated you can see there's ellipse one ellipse one copy let's go ahead and just hit edit transform path and then flip horizontal so i'm going to hold shift and just drag this over some and line it to about right there where there's a thin little space in between them almost forming like a v so now that we have that uh completed what i want to do is um basically just uh hide this background so you just see the transparency and I need to go ahead and go up to image and I'm looking for trim so I see trim right here and you can look at the options I have right there based on transparent pixels trim away top bottom left and right so once I have that I hit OK and you can see we've basically uh, as it says just trimmed it off so let's go to define this pattern now now to define this we need to go edit define pattern obviously and we'll name it pattern two and just hit okay so once we've done that i want to go ahead and create a new document so with the new document i'm going to make it 1080 by 1080 pixels i've already got one open so this is my new 1080 by 1080 pixel document i still have my other one right here on this tab but i have this one that i just created and what i want to do next is basically um make my background black which i've done so you could just you know if your background is whatever it's set at if it's white just go to your paint bucket tool and just select black and just dump it in there so you've got the background like that um i want to go to my adjustment layers though at the bottom so create a new fill or adjustment layer go ahead and click on that and look for pattern once you see pattern you're going to get by default this uh like leaf thing so let's tr uh, click that drop down and you'll see the pattern that we created um select my pattern two obviously the background's black and the pattern was black so that won't be a problem just click ok and you can see it there so what we need to do next is you know import some sort of artwork i'm going to import mine i've already done it you can see it's deselected but i made this in illustrator in like five seconds so just create some sort of pattern um if it's a christmas theme thing then go ahead and you know think about all different types of uh stuff you can do to get creative with that whether it's like you making reindeer or um christmas trees whatever just um make sure that you consider the uh color scheme you're also working with so you can look at websites like coolers.com and others like that that will kind of help you out if you're stuck um so Anyways, this is what I came up with, and I need to right-click on this to make it a clipping mask. So right-click, and then all these options right here, I'm looking at the bottom, so create clipping mask. So once I click that, you'll notice that the, um, the trees are masked within our little pattern. So obviously this doesn't look like we want it to, so let's double-click this left side, this thumbnail where this pattern is. Let's click on this, not the mask, but the actual pattern itself. So double click on that and you can see the scales at 100%. We simply just, um, I'm gonna actually use my uh, shift and down arrow to nudge this. And you can see that's at 
scaled at 1% and that kind of looks good. 2%, I mean, for this size, 1080 by 1080 pixels, I think the 2% might look best. And just like that, with a couple of steps, you made an easy uh, pattern effect, like a Christmas knit pattern or the ugly sweater pattern on top of your image that you created in Illustrator or whatever, If it, even if it was just a regular image that you just dumped in. So I hope you liked that tutorial. I know it was a quick, easy one. So uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.